Hey guys, what's up? It's Pseudo Pluto here, and I want to make a quick video showcasing uh, Chezbois. Um, it's a dot files manager, um, and it's written in Golang. It's a single binary, and I'm going to talk about why I chose it to manage my doc, um, dot files and my config files, um, how I went about automating, uh, setting up my machines, and like why it's important. Um, so here's my dot files repository, as you can see, uh, managed by Chezbois. And I'm going to jump over to my notes uh, before I give you uh, the full tour of Shesma and my dot .files. Um, so yeah, why automate dot .files and config files? Uh, so the main reasons why you do so, right, is you can version control uh, your config files, right? If you decide that um, some workflow is not working for you, um, you don't have to like remember your old workflow. You'll always have like a commit or a branch that you can like revert to. Uh, to get like the old uh, Vim RC that you had from like a year ago, right? Or, like an old uh, Bash RC that you had, or um, I don't know, like MPV config. Um, you have the ease of managing configs across multiple slash new computers. Um, so Shesma doesn't um, like recommend this, but like what you can do, right, is you can like select like, uh, you can create like a branch for like each computer you have, right? And then, so your dot files are managed in a Git repository, and you can just have like a branch for for each computer, right? And then um, this, you have like the same base. You can make like um, rebases or like pull requests um, across the different branches of your your like one like dot files repository. And but you'll have like the degree of separation, saying like, okay, this this one machine is like an Arch machine, or this one machine is a Fedora machine. Um, but they have something is a common, something's different. Uh, but how do I kind of have a single source of truth uh, for what the config is for all these different systems? And um, going into that, the ease of setting up new containers, VMs, computers, example. Um, so I'll get into this later when I make my micro OS video. Um, but the way that that uh, computers are trending, right, is in this idea of that. Um, you have your base system, but then if you want to do some work, you'll spin up like a Docker image uh, to create like a new container to do like all your um, dev work in. Like Fedora Silverblue has Toolbox, um, so does uh, OpenSUSE Micro OS. Uh, there's something called DistroBox, which is like a layer on top of that. But basically, the idea is that in a, like a in a in a couple of years down the line, when you have a computer, right, you'll spin up like multiple versions of like the Linux equivalent of uh, WSL to do your dev work in, right? You'll have like a container for each uh, project that you have. Um, so you don't like contaminate like dependencies of like Python versions, stuff like that for all the software projects you have. Um, uh, or like C libraries in, in a more like realistic case, right? And so this way you can spin up like a new dev container and you just run like a Shesma apply and then boom, like you're, you're off to the races. Um, you have all your like VimRCs and SSH keys and everything installed for you. Cool. Um, so why did I choose Shesma over other solutions? Um, I chose it because it has an easy install with a one-liner wget. I'll actually show it to you. Um, yeah, you run this one like CURL command and that'll download the Shesma binary, uh, put it onto your path and then um, like clone your own like GitHub repository for your config files and apply it immediately, right? So if you have everything set up right, you run this one line, you run this one one liner on your new machine or your new VM, right? And everything is set up for you right out of the gate, which is amazing. Um, and that is also enabled by the fact that it is a GoLang binary. Um, so a lot of the other um, solutions are. Um, kind of like scripted, right? So I think Sto is based off of Perl, and it's like a like a like a script. So when you install Sto, you have to like install like all like the um, Perl interpreter and libraries. Uh, same thing with I believe um, Thoughtbots um, dependency manager, um, and a lot of them are like Python or Ruby or uh, Bash scripts or Perl scripts, right? And so this is like a single like GoLang binary. You know, you don't need admin rights to to set up your system. Uh, you don't need uh, like the package to be in your repositories. You don't need to find like a Debian file or an RPM file or like a Windows executable. You run like one command and boom, they're all set up. Um, I also like it because it uses actual files instead of symlinks, uh, kind of like Sto. Uh, so Sto, it'll have like one repository. We have all like your dot files, and then I'll create symlinks to those files in your like your home directory. So Shesma is different in that it'll actually have a repository where it keeps all your dot files. And then 
uh, when you want to apply it, it'll copy over um, those files to the actual location. And doing that actually maintains like a lot of um, nuances, like uh, permissions for who can access the file. Uh, is the file like an executable, et cetera, et cetera. It also has a templating system. Uh, so for example, it can detect if um, you have a uh, Fedora host OS, right? And, and run um, uh, the appropriate like package installer for um, all your or your programs, right? It'll run like DNF instead of like APT. Um, and it's also useful for basically um, building up like more complex um, dot files, right? Um, you can have like a different branch that uses like the same files and you just change like one environment variable um, for the templating system and boom, like you can have like a whole nother user um, and like, uh, like a whole nother name, like a whole nother um, email that'll like get put everywhere for like your Git uh, config, for example. Um, that's just one area. And it has very good docs. I'll show you the docs. Um, and especially around encrypting tokens and keys. So yeah, I have my um, SSH key on there on GitHub for everybody to see, um, but it's encrypted and I have the key. And so it has very good documentation on how to have like a public GitHub repository where you have your own like private um, files, right? So like I have my Caddis submission token and my exorcism submission token and all of those are encrypted. So I can put the whole repository online for public. You guys can clone my repository and install like most of my dot files. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. And so, yeah, um, getting started. Uh, yeah, I would read the docs, I'd play around especially with encryption and package install scripts and I would have fun. And so I'll give you now a tour of Shesmo. So this is the homepage. Um, you'll see this sort of um, sidebar where you can see like quick start, um, which is like an overview, like a flow chart of how it works and how the command works. Uh, an example of freeze is like, why would you use Shesma? And a comparison table with stuff like uh, Dotbot from Thoughtbot, or no, Dotbot, I think it's, I think it's this, this one is Thoughtbots. No, RCM is Thoughtbots. Uh, they don't have Sto in here, but they have like all these other dot, man um, dot file managers. And why would you use it? For example, here, right? Bootstrap. Everybody requires like um, Python or Perl or um, Bash, right? But yeah, this um, Shesma does not require anything. Uh, Shesma uh, has a non root install, right? That's hard to do with these other ones. Um, we have yeah. Every everybody has like files except for this guy for some reason. Uh, but yeah, sim links are um, uh, less featureful than actually having like the actual files. And yeah, so, and then you have the user guide, uh, which has stuff like, uh, where is it? Encryption. So I use this tutorial for encrypting my SSH keys and my CADIS tokens and my exorcism tokens. And it also has um, tutorials for doing uh, a lot of stuff like uh, managed machine to machine differences. So this is how I select um, like installing certain packages if I'm running Fedora and stuff. And so the documentation is very good. I would go through it and just, just try it out for yourself. Um, no, no pressure at all. Uh, you can revert everything if you want to. It shouldn't impact like your actual like home directory stuff unless you actually like run like Shesma apply. Um, but yeah, I'll show you a tour of my DAW file repository. Um, as you can see, actually, I'll show you, this is what my old one used to look like config and everything was done manually. So I ported everything over to, um, Shesma and the dot files repository. And yeah, so I have everything here. I have MRC. Um, that was not the right one. I have my, um, SSH key, which is encrypted. I have, um, my my encrypted uh, Caddis key, my Caddis token. I have what else do I have? My Exorcism token, which is also encrypted. I have my MVB config, right? I have everything all in one repository, and all I have to do install is to run that one liner, and everything is set up. 
Um, I'll show you guys the example of the templating. So it's not only DOM files, it'll like run like machine setup. So I have this run once install packages uh, script, which is a template, right? And it basically says like, if the if the OS detected is Fedora, then yeah, install like NeoVim uh, and Exorcism and MPV and all this stuff. Um, I just started, so um, I'll obviously expand that more. Um, and what else do we have? Uh, oh, this is interesting. Uh, I can make a separate like tutorial or like notes on how to do this. Um, but basically you need to add bash completion if you install it via um, the, the CRL command. And so I actually just added the um, bash completion for Shesma into Shesma, which is kind of like weird or like inception if you think about it because Shesma is installing its own bash completion. Um, but that works out like really well. So um, Shesma installs its own bash completion for itself. So that way, when I'm using Shesma to like update stuff, I have all my bash completions right there. Um, and yeah, as you can see in my bash RC, I have that. Um, I load the. Uh, or do I? Bash completion dot bash completion. Okay, yeah. so as you can see, I have um, the dot bash completion file that actually like will import um, my completions. Cool. Um, so feel free to fork this um, or clone it or like use it forever. Um, all my important stuff are encrypted, and you do not have the key, so don't worry. I might make a separate video going over like my vimrc. Um, but it's very small <laughs> or my bash RC. I can do my bash RC right now. Um, I just have some aliases for, um, YouTube, um, DLP for downloading music off of YouTube. And I have some aliases for like updating Git repositories and updating my system and for using the cache for DNF operations to make things faster. But yeah. Um, that's my new and improved dot files. Um, that was a peek at my like cool, like bash RC or Ram RC. And I really do hope that you check out Chesma as your new, um, dot files manager, um, at a really easy time automating my dot files using it. Um, and it made me like think twice of like, Oh, why did, why did I take so long to automate everything? Um, so yeah, hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you found this cool. Um, as cool as I did. Um, and yeah, this is Pseudo Pluto out. See you guys later.